The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The headlines this weekend, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney is back on track after winning the main caucuses. What the headlines haven't told you is that the sexiest caucus Republicans have had so far, and it may not be over just yet. So was there rampant voter fraud in Maine? Then it is investigating a reality check that you won't see anywhere else. Maine is not a major state during the national primaries. Only 24 or so delegates come out of Maine to the convention. But what happened there over the weekend does more than just raise eyebrows. It is enough to make you question, was the caucus fixed? Saturday night, February 11th, the head of the Maine GOP, Charlie Webster, announced that Governor Mitt Romney won the Maine caucus by a slim margin. Official totals read that Romney barely won the caucus by less than 200 votes. The only problem? The governor was declared the winner with only 84% of precincts counted. Two counties, Washington County and Hancock County, had not held their caucuses. In Hancock, county Republicans had decided to hold their caucus this Saturday, February 18th. In Washington County, though, the state canceled the caucus because of snow concerns. Turns out, the area only got a light dusting. Now, the problem here, Mr. Webster says even when those caucuses are held this Saturday, the votes won't count. I talked with him on the phone. On February 11th, that was election day. Our rules said this is when you're going to have to vote by this date. Um, you know, if you're out of town that day, you don't get your vote counted. I'll let the people, the caucus, the, the caucuses will be held. The state committee, our governing body, will have to decide if we want to expand that. You heard right. The head of the GOP in Maine saying that the caucuses will be held this weekend. And even though party officials were the ones who canceled the caucus in Washington County, they will not count the votes of those who turn out because they missed the February 11th deadline. And if the party decides to count those votes, well, they won't make that decision until the second week of March after Super Tuesday. Well, that alone has caused a huge blow up across Maine. The state Senate president, Kevin Ray, says that, quote, our votes in Washington County must count as much as votes cast anywhere else, end quote. And Mr. Webster says it doesn't matter if the votes are counted because, really, it's just a straw poll. And he is correct that it is a straw poll and that the delegates are not bound to any candidate, meaning the delegates can vote in the convention for whomever they choose. But if you want to disregard the straw poll, don't hold one in the first place. But aside from the state GOP not wanting to include Washington County, there is another major issue from these main caucuses. Even though Governor Romney was already declared the winner, the numbers that the state GOP in Maine are reporting are incorrect. Take, for instance, Waldo County, where voters from 18 towns gathered for municipal caucuses in a countywide event. A total of 138 votes were cast. In the official Maine GOP tallies, however, the results from all but one of those communities, all but one, were given as a series of zeros below the name of each candidate. The tally shows that no one voted. The town of Belfast was one of ten towns that held a joint caucus on the same day. That caucus was held on February 4th. I talked with Matt McDonald, a pastor of a small community church in Belfast. He was nominated as the chairman of the Belfast caucus. He says 22 people showed up and they caucused on the 4th. McDonald also says that the state instructed the chairman of the caucuses to not read any of the votes allowed and instead to send them directly to Augusta. As his first order of business, McDonald made a motion to have the votes read aloud at the caucus and it passed unanimously. At the end of the caucus... We caucus and the vote was 8 for Ron Paul seven for Rick Santorum, five for Mitt Romney, and there were two undecideds. Uh, we recorded this publicly, we cut it publicly. So public that McDonald tweeted the results on the night of the 4th. Take a look. But on Monday of this week, hearing all the controversy surrounding the announcement of Governor Romney as the winner, McDonald checked the state party's website and saw that no results have been posted from the Belfast caucus. The lady on the line said that she had received our tallies, our votes, but hadn't recorded them online yet. And she said Romney with nine, Chris Antone with five, Ron Paul with two.
Well, of course, um, those were not the right numbers. And I told her, you know, the, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, those aren't the right numbers. And she said, well, those are the numbers we have. And I said, well, um, you know, there are 22 Republicans down here in Belfast who would tell you different because we counted our votes publicly. And it's kind of her, you know, it's in light of that, her voice kind of changed. And she said, thank you very much. We'll record this. And, and uh, we ended the conversation. And that is just one of several very strange inconsistencies. You see, dozens of towns on the GOP site are listed as if no one voted, including in Waterville, Maine, home to 15,000 people. A count on the site, as Maine goes, indicates that Congressman Ron Paul may have already won over Governor Romney by 10 votes. Can you say Iowa 2.0? If these issues of transparency are dealt with, and the, the GOP nationally pushes Mitt Romney on the state of Maine, personally, I, am, I will uh, either vote for Barack Obama or withhold my vote. And I've been voting for 15 years now, or 14 years, and, and I've only voted for Republicans. And that is what you need to know. What has happened in Maine is nothing short of a disaster for the Republican Party there. Is this a case of jumping the gun? sheer incompetence, or is it blatant fraud? Well, you can make up your own crystal clear. Unless the leadership in Maine publicly counts votes and ensures that every voter is heard, even though this is just a straw poll, the leadership may win the battle of keeping Governor Romney from having lost four contests in a row, but well may lose the war of galvanizing that vote in the general election come November. And that is Reality Check. Well, if you would like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by simply searching Ben Swan, WXIX.